Hello and welcome back to Vision Ivy. I am Shantanu and today we will learn something about black part critical and sensitive area. In one of our previous video we have done the localizer critical and sensitive area and this time we are covering the glide path. So buckle up and let's get started. So first of all, what is a glide path? It is a part of instrument landing system which constitute physical antenna setup at a particular point which provides vertical guidance to the aircraft by indicating its vertical deflection from the optimum glide path. So what we can observe here that this is an approaching aircraft towards a runway. This is a runway. So glide path is an instrument which provides the exact line of propagation for an aircraft so that it could hit or land on the aiming point which is a beam glide path. A location of the glide path generally placed a beam aiming point marking as the aircraft has to make its first contact with the runway in that particular area. The antenna setup is located meaning the glide path antenna is located generally on the right hand side of the runway as the preference of location of the left hand side is for the papi. Though the setup is placed offset with the runway center line, but the signal is with the reference to the runway center line. Meaning, if this is the glide path setup placed here, and as you can see, it is offset with the runway center line, but the signals which an aircraft is receiving, which are transmitting from this antenna, will be in the line of the runway center line only. So that while landing the aircraft comes and lands on the aiming point as close as possible. Now since it's a frequency emitting device or device which is emitting constant signals so it has a critical and sensitive area. What is glide path critical and sensitive area? First the glide path critical area is an area of defined dimension about the glide path antennas where vehicles including aircraft are excluded during all ILS operations. Now, sensitive area. The glide path sensitive area is an area where the parking and or movement of the vehicles including aircraft is controlled to prevent the possibility of unacceptable interference to the signal of the ILS. So why is the area created? Large reflecting objects within the ILS coverage volume, whether fixed objects or vehicles including aircrafts, can potentially cause the degradation of the signals in space. The amount of degradation is a function of size, location and orientation of the reflecting surface and ILS antenna characteristics. The objective of defining such critical and sensitive area is to prevent the degradation of the signal and ensure that the aircraft can rely on the signals in space. Now, how is the glide path critical and sensitive area defined? According to IQ NX10 Volume 1, the critical and the sensitive area is calculated at planning stage prior to the installation of the ILS. Now, here in front of us, we have the diagram as well as a table defining the area. So, let's get into the table. So, we have the two tables. First is glide path critical and sensitive area dimension for parallel and perpendicular orientation meaning if the glide path setup or the antenna setup is placed perpendicular to the runway or parallel to the runway center line mainly the center line and the second uh, table says glide path critical and sensitive area dimension for other orientation meaning if the location or the geometry is not in the favor of putting the glide path antenna in perpendicular or parallel ways then we have to follow this table so in the next slide we'll read this table and understand how this diagram has been created so now let's understand the table with the help of which we'll understand the diagram the first two says the height of the vehicle or the aircraft height less than equal to 6 meters for ground vehicles height less than equal to 14 meters but greater than 6 meters for medium aircraft height less than equal to 20 meters but greater than 14 meters for large aircraft and height less than equal to 25 meters but less than 20 meters for very large aircraft now 
glide path antenna type. In our last video where we have covered the localizer, localizer has two types of arrays, medium and large. But in glide path we have only one kind of array which is medium array. So all types are medium array only. Now the x and y distances from the glide path. For cat one critical area x which means this line x critical is 2 9 nanometers and y critical which means this line is 20 nanometers. Same we can follow for the medium aircraft, large aircraft and very large aircraft. Now the cat one sensitive area x which is same 2 9 nanometers. This is the sensitive area which is same 2 9 nanometers for cat one and y sensitive which is this line is also 20 nanometers same as cat one critical and rest you can see for medium large and very large aircraft now coming to cat 2 and 3 critical area x x is 2 nanometers x is 2 9 nanometers and y is 20 nanometers, it is same. Coming to CAT 2 and 3, sensitive area, which is 2 9 nanometers, x, sensitive line is this, x, and 29y, y sensitive is this. Further, we can, fi we can find variations. For ground vehicles, we have the value same. But as we move on with the table, with the medium aircraft, large aircraft, and very large aircraft, we have different values. There are slight variations, but the variations are important, which you have to notice. Now the one area which was left, which rests behind the glide path. Behind means, if this is the glide path, this is the runway, and this is the threshold. And the aircraft is heading in this direction, coming to land. We define the areas so that's why i'm taking this as behind guide path all the areas defined in the previous slide was in front now it's behind which is xb xb is 50 meters and implies for large and very large aircraft category only otherwise xb is zero depending on simulation choices transition point the critical area may be larger than the sensitive area and impact associated management procedure meaning there are different procedures to define the area that's why there are variation in the areas the category 1 critical area is typically equal or larger than the sensitive area protecting the category 1 sensitive area may not be necessary hope i could make you understand the glide path critical and sensitive area this is a lot easier then the localizer one. Localizer one was a little bit tougher. Thank you. Do like, share, subscribe our work because your support is our motivation. Go where you feel the most alive. This is Shantanu signing off.